have a customer who lives in our town who has two big dogs and one of his dogs, Frida, loves to chew on her wool ball. And um, I thought, after taking a look at this ball, that I think we can repair it. Although he's very happy with this ball, said it's lasted way longer than any other ball that Frida has had. But I think we can return it to its ball shape. You can see that uh, she's had some difficulty getting into the layers of the wool. And we are going to wash this in our next batch of wool balls. And you can actually, anyone actually, can rewash and refelt their wool ball at home uh, just by simply putting it in the washing machine. And if it doesn't uh, refelt adequately to your mind through going through the first wash, just keep throwing it back in the wash. And I'm going to show you how that works. So here's also the second ball. So you can see that there's a little bit of chew through here, although it's still very firm, it can still bounce. And it's a it's a it's a still a great toy, but I think we're gonna give it a try. So what you do is you take yourself a sock, a slick sock, or if you still have the uh, the uh, bag that's left over from um, when you bought it, and you pop it in here, put a little twist tie on it, and throw it in the wash. And we'll see you on the other side. And here the wool balls are ready for the wash. Uh, they're just uh, two. Um, just a sock with twist tie in between and a big knot in the end. It can go in any wash we're doing. In this case, we're, do, we're doing another load of uh, wool balls today, so we're going to toss it in. And uh, we'll see how they turn out. So here we have the wool balls after they've gone through the wash a couple times. And you can see that the edges are smooth. Um, it's still a little bit lopsided. Still bouncy. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Um, and much better shape. Here's the second ball. The second ball came out very nicely. You don't see any of those rough edges anymore. And um, it's good to go. Now, if this, these balls had actually, if I had a heavy, heavy chewer, and what I, we always recommend is that um, if you have a heavy chewer, find the ball once a week and throw it in the wash. Um, that will prevent some of the um, damage that these balls had. And um, I, I guess I'm not sure exactly why people don't do that. I think it, it sounds to them like a hassle, but it's really very easy. You just get the little cloth bag that it comes with. You put it in the bag with a twist tie and throw it in the wash, just like you would um, a washcloth or a towel that's going in the load. And when it comes out, you take it out of the bag and roll it between your hands. It takes seconds, if that. So um, if you happen to have a, uh, one of these wool balls, make sure that you um, um, wash it each time. Each time you do the laundry, each week, uh, if you have a heavy chewer. So there you go.